I could not go back to the classroom and teach. There's no way I could teach. Because, you know, back in the 80s when I was teaching, <laughs> we could still hit them. <laughs> Hard. <laughs> With a board. I'm not saying it was right or wrong. I'm just saying, very effective. I mean, watch this 20-something when I ask the rest of the room. How many of you guys remember getting hit or the, the board? Yeah, look at, let's see the hands. Yeah, look at there. There you go. Yeah, I got swatted. I had it coming, too. In the ninth grade, I had a teacher I didn't like. I just kept chirping in class and, and disrupting and kept getting kicked out constantly and getting sent to the principal's office. And one day, I got sent down there, and I walked in. He goes, I'm tired of looking at you. Turn around, grab your ankles, and lock your knees. I went, oh, 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 oh. I think today's the day. He took that board off the wall, and he pulled back like a par five, man. You could hear it through the school when somebody got a swat. It was like a gunshot coming out of the principal's office. You could hear it through the entire school. Bam! And then you had to walk back. And remember, in junior high, all the doors were open to the classroom, so everybody was just like walking, watching to see who was making that walk of shame. You know? I stopped on the way back to class. I went in the bathroom, pulled down my pants, and looked in the mirror. <laughs> oh, I've never seen that color before. <laughs> and I went back to class. You know what I did? Shut my mouth. <laughs> Mrs. Yount, you win. You'll hear nothing from me the rest of this semester. And I think we now know what happened to my duck butt. <laughs> Before COVID hit, I worked in Hong Kong and Singapore, and I flew from Hong Kong to Singapore on Tiger Air. It's this cut radiation airline. They cram in all close together, and I don't feel like a big man, but in Asia, I'm gigantic. I didn't realize it until I was standing at the gate. I'm the only Westerner on the flight, and I'm looking around going, holy crap, I'm huge. Because I'm 6'1", 185. Hundred ninety-five. Two hundred five. It's probably 212 this morning. Anyway, it doesn't matter. I was the biggest guy in the jet by a lot and had a window seat. And there was a guy in the aisle and I said, uh, can I sneak past you? <laughs> he said, your sneaking days are over, my friend. <laughs> you guys are paying attention. I like you guys. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> 